Lovely day for it. May I see your letter of transit, please? Welcome to the parade, sir. And may I say you've arrived not a moment too soon. What do you mean, Constable? A word to the efficient is sufficient, sir. If you catch my drift. I would not count on this bridge remaining operational in the near future. Nudge, nudge, smirk, smirk. Say no more, say no more. We like to work, are we? You love trains. Do you remember when we went to Plymouth on that train? You didn't want to get off. That was in 1941. Yeah, it must have been. I... I... I, I don't want you to go to Germany. You think I want to go? I don't know where we're going, I don't know what they're going to do with us there, and who knows if we're ever really coming back. But I don't have much of a bloody choice, do I? You would talk to me when you're gone. Dad talks to you. Well, no, I suppose he doesn't really. But he does love you. I believe you, Arthur. He's just really rubbish at showing it. Ah, the parade. Just like I pictured it. Strange to be back here. How long ago was it I used to just trundle off to work every day, right around here? Now I just need to get into the broadcast tower so I can get into Appleholm Station and find the train tracks to the Britannia Bridge. You will never guess who I call sneaking out of the executive washroom. Right as rain, right as rain. Smashing. Lovely day for it. Institute. I bought some trousers there. Bloody expensive too. If I remember correctly, they've got a hatch in their basement. Good thing Sally taught me to be nosy. Who knows when I might need to get to a bed. I should see if I can get down there.
How dare he cancel on me? I don't care if he's double booked. He was nothing before I taught him how to walk. Uh, I know. I, I know how to model. Sorry, love. Tits ruin the drape. Buy me a new male model. Too sweet. That was fast. Hmm. Right height. Right build. Bit tan for my taste. You're new, aren't you? Never mind. If Quintin sent, you're probably not hopeless. I just hope to God you can strut. Go downstairs and ask Nigel what to do. I'm gonna have to do this stupid fashion show to get it, aren't I? Maybe the models can tell me how not to make a complete fool of myself up there. I'm the new guy. Uh, any idea where my desk is? Did you hear they've caught Foggy Jack? Isn't that a relief? I rather need you to stop buggering yourself and open the fucking door. You seem not entirely delighted? Stage fright. The last time I tripped on the catwalk, Davy locked me in a fucking closet for three days. I could use a shot of whiskey, but all we have in this wretched place are drugs. Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? Like that girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. Oh, that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I tossed the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not gonna happen, is it? Thank God. Can you believe he made me tape up my tits? Like that girl who played Dorothy in that old movie about the shoes. Oh, that helps. I'll let you in on a little modeling secret. I toss the crowd a bouquet. They love that. All those lads want to be brides, but it's not gonna happen, is it?
You look like a ghost. You are the one, aren't you? I'm a bit fucked up. But Candyman said it was a Sally special, but... But he lied. I'd kill several innocent people for a flash. Do you know any innocent people? I don't either. You're a lifesaver. Uh, any advice for the catwalk? Do a cheeky little bang-bang gesture. They love that. Kill me. You wouldn't have a sewing kit. Would you like this? Thanks, Azil. Now the whole crowd won't have to see my knickers. I'm sort of new. Got any advice? Try fierce. I'm watching you move. Crowd's restless, deary. Go out there and fucking wow them. Just strut to the spots marked with X and show yourself off. And quickly, we'll get going then. You are capable of walking ten feet, aren't you? Oh, and whatever you do, don't fuck up. Okay, and on your mark, and work it. Be fierce, Arthur. Be fierce. It's not here to see this. I'm fierce. I'm the fiercest. I'm not sure I'm sexy enough for my shirt. How does it feel to be one of the beautiful people? Darling! You weren't utterly dreadful. Have some party favours. Say, Mr Hackney, it's a bit late and I sort of live on the other side of town. Would it be too much trouble? I suppose you did do me a favour. Here's the key to the pad. No throwing parties in there.
can come back here from any other hatch without anyone trying to kill me. Looks like a terribly effective cleaver suitable for your more unruly animals. Can't talk. Late for a meeting. Cheerio! Right as rain, right as rain. If we can just reduce the budget a tad more, I think we could really make an impact.
just uh, watching the day go by. They seem to be a lot more serious about the plague here. It must be spreading fast. Not a pleasant thought. Good show. Right, Toe. They never told me what that specialist said, the one in London, when they took him to see him. I'm glad I'm not a Bobby if that's how well they're taking care of Bobby Poppers these days. I'm sorry I couldn't be at the meeting. Did I miss anything critical? You know, I think we wear the same size. Extremely glad I'm not a Bobby.
Please don't struggle. This as long as these poppers are popping out constables. You're only making it hard. It's sloppy of them to leave all the works exposed like that. What if someone were to have an unfortunate accident and break things? This force seems to be out in uh force. That popper looks like it's rather well maintained. I wonder if I can change that. Me, wasn't it?
to find a way to turn these off if I want to get through that gate uncooked. There. All that bother, and I don't even have plague. I don't think that's working anymore. Right? Good. Well, I hope that's helpful, Charles. Thank you very much for writing. Here's another letter. From Mrs. Gillian Overshaw of St. Giles Crescent. Mrs. Overshaw writes, Dear Uncle Jack, I found the most peculiar thing in my garden. Perhaps you can help me identify it. It has the general shape of a garden gnome. Look, it's not you, it's me. Dear, that's not working anymore either. Things have come to a pass indeed. I don't see why you can't unquarantine the pie shop. Cook is beside herself. My dear lady, if we lift the quarantine gate on the pie shop for you, we'd have to lift every quarantine gate for anybody. No, you wouldn't. I'm not anybody, am I? You perish the thought, madam. You can just do it for me. I'm afraid we actually can't. Our quarantine control grid needs a, a framistat. We've ordered a new one from the Department of Scientific Research. I'm throwing a dinner on Friday. I expect you to get your frammy whatever and unquarantine the pie shop, or I shall have to explain to the Minister of Health why we have no pie. <laughs> <laughs> 